Rey Mysterio looks fired up for this one, King. He may be the ultimate underdog, but that hasn't stopped Mysterio from competing with full confidence. And now Rey Mysterio pushing forward. Neither individual is going to back down here. Collar and elbow battling for control. Mysterio, how does he do it? He's got him up. Triple H knows how to punish off an opponent. Oh! He's got him up. Big body slam. I love it. Triple H has really gained some ground here with his fantastic offense. Rey Mysterio reverses it. When I think about the history that Triple H has written in his career, it's amazing. I think back to his incredible entrance at WrestleMania 22 when he faced John Cena in Chicago. That procession to the ring set the tone for the entire match. I mean, it was awesome. Things are about to get ugly. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they look. Oh no, not the steel steps. Uh, hey, wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. The steps are used to inflict punishment. Ouch, he's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. King, I know you spoke about WrestleMania 22, but let's think back to when the cerebral assassin truly took his first steps toward sports entertainment royalty when he defeated mankind in the finals of the 1997 King of the Ring tournament. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm gonna go with something historic that happened in 1997 as well. That summer, Triple H and the Heartbreak Kid formed the renegade group of D-Generation X. What about that, Cole? Of course. I mean, WWE wouldn't even have had an attitude there without them. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Rey Mysterio may get this, folks. Sales. A kick out, and he almost had him. Man, Triple H, what offense. What's he going to find? Wow, if he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Whoa, uh -oh, trying. What a spine buster. Oh, my God. 